gonna ask you some questions now, Goblin, and I better get the right answers. I've been waiting for you, Mako. Waiting to see if the man can live up to the legend. I swear I'll kill you! <laughs> yes, kill me! Kill me so I can start my own legend! It's only suiting that I should be killed by you! Kill me so I can claim my spot in history! No one's gonna remember you! You're just a common criminal! That's all you'll ever be! How dare you! My name shall be remembered forever! How can you be working for the Yamakinyu? They're dead. It is true, you did manage to dis temporarily disrupt the group, but last year an old friend from your recent past decided to reorganize the Lone Sharks. Barracuda? He's dead. <laughs> and you enjoyed watching him die, didn't you? You hated him, just like you hate me now. You know, the boss speaks of you often. Many people think that you are superhuman in some way, but I see you for what you really are. You know the only thing worse than a killer? A coward! I'm no coward! Now tell me who sent you! I'm not telling you anything else. It's all there in the journal. It just depends on how hard you're willing to work. Barracuda is dead. Yes, he has been dead before. You know, you'd be surprised the amount they offered me to take out your pretty little girlfriend. But I didn't do it for the money. I just wanted a pleasure in seeing you suffer. And what a sight it is. <laughs> You know, the money was just a little added bonus. I was thinking of putting it into my retirement fund. Tess is going to call any minute. Are you ready? Barracuda? When does it end, Ghost? It doesn't. Not for people like us. Remember, you swore an oath, same as I. And you remember the mantra? Only in death does duty end. Why do you choose this life? <sighs> I didn't. I was born. And now I stand before you as I am. <sighs> That's what I used to think. Then I met her. With her, I felt in control. Like I could actually affect a life without ending it. Do you mean your wife? Listen, you're gonna have to put this behind you now. I doubt that she would have wanted to see you like this. And maybe this isn't the kind of life you expected Maybe not even the kind of life you wanted. But people like us can get by. Yes? It's good to hear your voice again, Barracuda. I just wish it could have been under happier circumstances. Yeah. Your father wanted you to know how pleased he is that you decided to come back to the family business. Is he? He's so pleased that he's already given you the green light on a new mission. Just like old times. <laughs> well, don't get cocky yet. This isn't training. Are you familiar with the Wellenquest family? The crime family? We've had contracts with them before. They deal in human trafficking, I believe. Among other things, their criminal enterprise has become quite a lucrative business over the last five decades. This doesn't sound like my father. I thought we tried not to get involved in organized crime. Usually that's the case, but this time we're making an exception. The Wellenquist family has a youngest son named Quentin, typical mafia brat with a mean streak. I see. Recently he took a vacation to Japan, where he courted some of the local women. He took his dates to five-star restaurants, museums, operas, the works. Sounds like he has an artistic side. You could say that. The problem is that some of his more artistic dates got a little rough. So rough that one of the girls didn't survive the encounter. It's never that simple. At least when the Yamaginyu is involved. Indeed. It turns out that that girl was actually the daughter of a very notorious Yakuza boss. So I'm assuming the Japanese Yakuza wants revenge? Actually, it's Quentin's father who put out the hit. He doesn't want retaliation from the Yakuza and he's tired of his son embarrassing him, so he contacted us to take care of it. 
Wallenquist put out a hit for his own son? It seems that would be the case. His own blood. If he only knew. Sounds like one dysfunctional family to me. Agreed. In any case, you and Ghost are scheduled to meet at the site tomorrow at 0700 hours. Your father wanted you to handle this one personally. I'll see to it. Good luck. I'm certainly about due for some. And Tessa? Yes? It's good to hear your voice again too. Thank you. And I'm sorry about your wife. Just like old times. Just like old times. Founder. Excellent. Head back to your house. We'll reconvene tonight at 0800 hours. And Thresher? Good work. <laughs>